Our top story tonight, those stunning rings around our planet. Still no scientific explanation why the asteroid exploded as... We're lighting their beautiful, just beautiful... It's bad luck! An evil omen! I'll do... The rings are causing interference with the radio and satellite signals all over the world. Uh, pain in the planet's butt, Odie, but not exactly doomsday. But here's the kicker. According to the atomic clock, sunrise was 1.35 seconds late this morning. What? The rings are affecting time? Not just that, Jay. Watch. The rings are spinning counter to the Earth, slowing the planet's rotation. The atmospheric disturbance will cause earthquakes, hurricanes, global disaster. Okay, so what's the bad news? I was getting to that. If the Earth's rotation suddenly stops, everything will shear from the surface of the Earth due to the conservation of momentum. <gasps> I'm sorry I asked. I've been waiting all night, and it appears I'm still waiting. You haven't found him. <laughs> the Oracle said seven heroes would unite to stop me. I must find the last one before the prophecy is realized. Get your brothers. I'll be joining the hunt this time. Cronus has caught us by surprise, but I am aware of the danger. And remember what the Oracle said. Seven young heroes would stand in his way. But there are still only six of us. Cronus is about to tear the world apart at the seams, and I don't think he's going to wait for all of us to show up for school. Neither will we. Since Neil hasn't arrived on his own, you'll have to go and find him. Will one more make that much difference? Is Neil some kind of invincible warrior? Hmm, not exactly. But Neil does have qualities that are unique and he will make you seven. But as you said, Jay, you don't have much time to find him. Start with his mentor, Ms. Aphrodite. The goddess of love and beauty? What kind of warrior are we looking for? Let's go a teeny weeny bit easier on the gloss this time. I want to glow, not glare. Feel the love! Uh, yeah. Miss Aphrodite, can you tell us where to find Neil? Neil? Yes, Neil, you're responsible for bringing him here to Olympus High. Oh, that Neil! Oh, such a good-looking boy. He's having fun in the city somewhere. He's right here in the city? Where? Really? You act as if a goddess didn't have more important things to do than answer silly questions all day! <gasps> Ugh. If you really need to know where Neil is, you should ask the Oracle. The Oracle? Oh, great idea, Ms. Aphrodite. Yeah, uh, thanks for all your help. Jay? <sighs> Let's go. Ow, 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 ow. Next time your daddy buys you a new car, Teresa, could you ask for something a little roomier? We could have used my truck, but someone stole it. There he is. That's the Oracle. Ah, I knew sooner or later you would come to see me. That's an encouraging sign for an Oracle. Listen, can you tell us where to find Neil? 
That's Neil? He's a model? Hey, maybe he's a supermodel. <laughs> With superpowers like stunning good looks or a killer smile. <laughs> so, do you have any difficult questions that you might actually need an oracle for? Yes. Where is Neil? Huh? You don't need me to find him. The ability is within you. <laughs> but if you must know where he is this minute, try the train yard. Oh, that's it, baby. Yeah, yeah, Neil. The camera loves you, baby. Yeah. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. Neil, at last we meet. Big fan, huh? I suppose you want an autographed picture. Oh, very kind of you, dear boy, but I have much bigger plans for you. Plans? Are you some kind of agent? Big time mover and shaker? Oh, yes. Mover and shaker. Big time. Gross. And there's Neil. I thought this was a closed set. Well, I gotta make time for fans that are that dedicated. Oh, let my bodyguards take care of them. We have more important things to do. Whoa! Not bad. If only we had a whole train. One train coming up. Get the giants to the middle of the roundhouse. Right. Sure. No problem. Train wreck, Teresa. Great work, guys. Where's Cronus? Where's Neil? A mirror. Are you sure Neil is the hero type? He's one of us, Archie. And if we're gonna stop Cronus from destroying the planet, we need all the help we can get. The Meso... what? The Mesosphere? It's the layer above the stratosphere. Very cold. So the debris fragments from the asteroid have formed not to loosen clouds through heterogeneous nucleation, and... Are you guys getting any of this? No. We caught the very cold part. The rings are made of ice particles in the sky. Oh, the sky! Right, right, got it. Except that the ice is on the edge of space, held in orbit by vertically propagating gravity waves. This looks done to you. Harry! Jay! Jay! 
good to see you. Any exciting developments on your end? We found Neil, and then promptly lost him again. What about you? The three of us were just brainstorming. But we haven't even had a drizzle yet. <laughs> and to top it off, I lost my truck when I find out who took it. Oh, <laughs> that was me. You? I made a few modifications for you. <laughs> Enjoy. You customized it? <laughs> All right! Yeah, enjoy it while you can, Harry. We haven't got much time, unless Hef has Neil behind one of those doors. Nice digs! About time I got noticed by one of the top agents. I assure you, you won't find anyone more powerful than I am. Great! <gasps> wow, fab view! Oh, I would look great with a background like that. Not that I need a background to look great. Um, are you concerned with anything else other than your looks? I wouldn't call it concern. I mean, what have I got to be concerned about? Hmm, very odd. You don't strike me as the hero type. I haven't seen anyone this self-absorbed since... Tell me, do you have any connection to Narcissus? Nope. I'm not signed with anybody called Narcissus. <laughs> Strictly freelance. What's special about Neil? Why, he's a direct descendant of Narcissus. Uh, who's Narcissus? Oh, a lovely boy, just like Neil. And then one day he saw his own reflection in a pool of water and fell in love. And from that moment, he couldn't leave his own side. Oh, that would explain the mirror, the modeling. So we've pinned our hopes on a hero whose chief virtue is that he's in love with himself? Well, who can blame him? I'd kill to have cheekbones as good looking as his. Oh, wait! I do! <laughs> Jay, I know where he is. You do? The Oracle said you had the power to find him. Can you lead us there? Absolutely. Come with me, Neil. I have something that I think will interest you. <gasps> a pool shoot? Awesome! I always look good in a swimsuit. Look good? You'll be positively mesmerizing. See for yourself. There, that will keep the fool busy for a while. <laughs> Narcissus, a hero? Oh, the gods must be crazy. You're sure this is the place? Yes, they're on the roof. Wow. This guy can't get enough of himself. And I fail to see the attraction. How so, Teresa? Ugh. He attracted all of you, didn't he? There are only six of you, Jay. The odds are still in my favor. doubts about you. Are you guys crazy? You just killed my agent! Let's get out of here, quick! Okay, Neil, this is the secret entrance where the immortal gods of Olympus live now. A janitor's closet? <laughs> oh, oh, you guys just won't quit. <laughs> 
Hey, cool! I've got a pendant just like that. We, we all, all do. do. It means you're one of us. Use it to open the door. Uh, okay. Here I am using my secret pendant key. Huh? Huh? Okay. Talk to me. I know, thanks. Ah, you found the last hero. All seven together at last. Except for Odie. I'll call him. Uh, here. I think this is yours. Hey, I've been looking for that. Odie? Any progress on your end? Progress? Yeah, Jay. I've been running some more calculations. Unless we do something soon, the world is going to rip apart in less than 24 hours. What about Neil? Did you bring him back? Well, uh, yes, but I'm not sure he's the answer we were hoping for. Have a look for yourself. Uh, can you tell him that his reflection... His reflection is brilliant! Jay, he is the answer! Huh? <laughs> the streets are jammed. I don't think driving on the sidewalk will help us now. Don't worry. I got four wheels and I plan on using all of them. So where are we headed, Odie? You mind? Golden Valley. I'll guess that. What's in Golden Valley? A solar array. One of the biggest thermal solar concentrated systems in the world. Look. The plan is simple. The rings are made up mostly of ice. The array collects and concentrates the sun's energy. If we can reflect the energy back into space and focus it on the rings, we can melt them. Thank goodness we have you to come up with stuff like that. Thank Neil. He gave me the idea. Neil? I'm an inspiration to all who know me. Mm. Ah, panic in the streets. How refreshing. And yet, something's not right. I wonder where they're going. To enjoy one last sunrise? They must know there's nothing they can do and no time left to do it. On the other hand, why take any chances? Ah! Which one of you wants to make amends for your ignominious defeat at the Roundhouse? How about you? Cronus busy. You take Odie to the array. Everybody else out, including Neil. Neil? What do you want Neil for? Yeah, what do you want Neil for? Because you're lucky, and right now, we need all the luck we can get. <laughs> Six legs, but he's unsteady. Let's use that. Thank you. 
You did it, Odie. You are a genius. Uh, Harry, you better close your sunroof. Why? That's why. So sure, the rest of you are brave and strong and great fighters and everything, but in the end, it was my reflection and my good luck that saved the planet. Ah, okay, fine, you saved the planet. We're so lucky you came along. So we're back to our plain old starry sky. Yeah. Hey, lighten up a little bit. I think we did pretty good. <laughs> You're right. We're a team now. But... But? Cronus is still out there. Our fight with him has just begun.